which is equally and ideally situated as the Rutenga. Perhaps Vibridge. I, I cannot think of any. I've moved uh, throughout the country and the Rutenga is the most ideal place. I was just talking to Comrade Mazimbamuto that today I should have had a meeting with the Minister of Transport and Energy about the tarring of the road from Bukwa to Rutenga. Uh, it is no longer under Masimba province, it's under Midlands. But we, uh, my, as far as I'm concerned, it is, I, I'm very personally, emotionally involved with the upgrading of this road because it will change uh, the area dramatically. The existing agricultural industries and the new industries will rely heavily on an efficient telecommunication network. In this connection, I'm therefore pleased to know that Rutenga Exchange managed to convert all the old listen all manual party lines, excuse me, to the newer electronic party lines that are free from eaves dropping. Customers therefore also know now, uh, also now have automatic dialing. Furthermore, the recent commissioning of two digital radio links between Rutenga and Menezi and Rutenga and the MTC, which also follows the end users to interface with the automatic exchange, is yet another example of your conscious efforts to serve the people. Thank you, and thank you most immensely. You also recently put up a remote equipment building in Chikombezi, right in the middle of my counterpart's constituency of Chirezi South. Hence, many customers there along the Menez River downstream from uh, Edinville Range to Maringa, Mariganga Ranch now have access to telephone service. Chikombez Central now also has two boxes on top of party lines and direct lines. You may not be aware that uh, uh, Balo is not around. But you may also be aware that that part of Chirezi South is part of and parcel of Menezi. And we cannot uh, feel ourselves comfortable and say we've developed when they are next neighbor, which is almost part of us, is not developed. So uh, again, I am pretty, uh, I'm very happy about this. In, in the addition, Maripati also benefited by getting their first ever telephone service, I'm sure since 1890, including a public telephone. Now comes the area in which I'm very grateful uh, uh, to the PTC, Masola and your friends. Maranda Business Center was also hooked up to the phone system in May and June 1996. This service was complemented by call boxes at Maranda, Freeds, and Sarauro centers. Let me assure you, these facilities are greatly appreciate, appreciated by the marginalized peasant communities in our area. Again, this was for the first time since 1890. In the immediate future, I'm informed that uh, we, the people of Menezi, expect that the current expansion in telecommunication facilities will continue. The following centers would greatly appreciate your services. 
including complimentary call boxes. Dine, Chizuarinda, Mujamani, Shama Foods Township, and the ever marginalized Wedza Block resettlement. Wedza Block came to us in 1991 from Banda South. They had also come from Midlands, and they had been pushed from one province to another. The first road I was saying to Comrade Mazimbamoto was in 1993, in that area in Weza Block. The local schools, clinics, shops in the areas I've mentioned required access to a telephone service on a daily basis. Such a service can only result not only in greater customer satis satisfaction, but also in the creation of new jobs since communication infrastructure attracts business. It is also my hope that sooner rather than later, the retain exchange will be fully digitalized. The commercial farmers, local business people, schools, clinics, and the other users would greatly appreciate such a facility. Now, I'm coming to a last point, and uh, Mr. Mazibamuto appeared to have preempted what I wanted to uh, appeal for. Anyway, he's already aware of that. Master of Ceremonies, I also argue strongly, very strongly indeed, that many of us in this particular area including travelers on the highway to South Africa, would want to be linked up to your mobile cellular telecommunication network, Net One. For those of us who travel a lot, it is the ideal technology. I left Harare at 4.30 this morning. And my wife doesn't even know at the moment whether I'm in one piece or in too many pieces. <laughs> For those of us who travel a lot, it is really an ideal technology. Even the schools, the clinics, local farmers, and safari tour operators would appreciate such a service. You would also benefit by not having to worry about damaged telephone lines or stolen wire. Please, Mr. Mazimamoto, we make this very earnest and very sincere appeal that we would really appreciate this new technology in this area. As you can see, we are very sparsely populated and you move long distances before you get to the next person. Ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sure these are the last words. Uh, in Parliament, you always get some say, now, uh, finally, and finally, it goes on, finally, finally. No, uh, I've got a teaching background, and uh, when I say finally, I mean finally. Uh, with these few words, if there were fewer at all, allow me once again to congratulate all of you and the Rutenga exchange most heartily on winning your well-deserved award, the PTC Exchange of the Year. Makoro Koto, Amkiope, Nijindevere. Matsai, Nijitangana. We are proud of your achievements. Believe me that. We are grateful for your services. Please keep up the good job. Keep up the good spirit to serve not only the people of Manezi, but the people of Zimbabwe. Thank you. Real that was the thank you in Venda. This gentleman again speaks a uh, fluent Venda. You will never say a word in Venda that he doesn't hear. 
Well, that was the man from the legislative house uh, uh, telling us what he expect of us in his constituents. Perhaps say I will talk what uh, some politicians did way back in 1979. There was the uh, this guy they used to put in cartoons with the three or four large teeth. Carter, Jimmy Carter, President of the United States, 19, that was 1979. There was also Saddam Hussein, he had just taken control of Iraq. And then there was a, 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 the famous and famous one from Uganda. They were also asked uh, to have a small meeting with uh, the Almighty. So Carter was called in first. He spoke, he spoke with the Almighty, he spoke, spoke. And then uh, four or five minutes later, he came out top smiling. Three large teeth. Next one to go in uh, was Saddam uh, Hussein. Saddam went in three, four, five minutes. He came out crying. I'm sure I got it, given him a few words. Then he went in. Uh, before before uh, Amin went in, he said, what happened? He said, ah, God fired me. Then uh, 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 Amin went in. Five, five, five very long minutes. It wasn't Amin who came out crying. I hope you have guessed who came out crying. <laughs> <laughs> again, uh, there is this uh, 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 problem again we couldn't uh, 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 address a few minutes ago. Mr. Keus uh, 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 made a passionate plea to Mr. Magada's wife that he, that she forgive him for working extra duties. <laughs> So uh, he, he said he didn't know Mrs. Magad. But before I show Mrs. Magad to Mr. Kelt and the rest of us here, uh, uh, they, this is a short one about marriage couples. I used to work in Guero in 1983. My neighbors were very illiterate uh, people, but they really loved the Queen's fancy language. So they go every day they go, ah, honey, what are you doing? Honey, what are you doing? Everything they said was honey, honey, honey. And then their kid in grade two, they had uh, was given a homework to uh, 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 go and ask your parents what Uchi is in Shona. But Uchi is an in Shona. So the kid goes, Mama, we are Uchi ni Chirungunzichi. She looks surprised and calls on the husband, Honey, we are Uchi ni Chirungunzichi. <laughs> and then sadly, sadly, the husband looks back and answers, Honey, and this is. <laughs> They didn't know what honey was in English, <laughs> although they had the name. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, may I call upon uh, Mr. Bejana, who is the area manager responsible for Chirez, uh, this part of the uh, uh, province as well, including Chirez, uh, Rotenga, Ngundu, Mashaba, uh, Nyaningwe, and Zushabane, which also includes part of Malikarin province, that's in Berengwa and Mataka, to give us a, a vote of thanks before we present our trophies. Sorry? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I got, <laughs> sorry, I got carried away by the honey thing. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Magada, please, would you stand up and uh, show your face to the, uh, to the, to Mr. Kew then. <laughs> That um, <laughs> sorry, okay. Uh, uh, I, I said before that people might misconstrue me for uh, uh, MC, not for mental, for not for master of ceremony, but for, for mental case. I erroneously called upon Mr. Bejan, but it's actually the director, human resources, who employs me. <laughs> <laughs> And many of us, yes. So uh, I don't know why I forgot him. I might be fired tomorrow. You don't see me. Let me turn him. Say. Uh, thank you very much, um, our guest of honor, the DPMG, and other invited guests. Uh, Mr. Masola, your humor has just saved you. <laughs> um, um, I think um, most of what I would have said has been covered by earlier speakers. I don't have much to say other than to share in the joys and gratitudes 
of the people of Rotenga for having actually won what we call it, consider as a double in this instance. Um, having an exchange of the year and a work of the year, all personified in one person, I think is a feat that is hard to achieve in one year. For, for the sake of um, information, this is I think the third year that we are running this, um, uh, this event. The first year it was one in Chakari, which is part of uh, Mashonaland, right? West. Part of Mashonaland West. West. Uh, the second year, which was last year, it was um, uh, in Chivu, Mashonaland East. And uh, now, uh, the third year, we are here in Rutenga. So, we've um, brought the trophy all the way from um, those regions of Mashonaland to this part of the world. And we've also broken the monotony of the seas for the first time we're having it with the R. Um, I think our Honorable MP said um, they would like the trophy to remain here. They would like Rutenga to remain the best exchange of PDC forevermore. And at the risk of repeating myself, at least to those who have had occasion to listen to me in these occasions, I've said the most difficult thing about being at the top is that you have to remain there or you move downwards. There's no room to go up because you're already at the top. So <clears throat> you have to accept the challenge, knowing pretty well the onerous task that is thrust upon you. Everybody who is a runner-up is trying as much as possible to be where you are now. So it only means that we have to double our efforts, if only to remain at the top. The incentive is not as much as the one who is trying to get to where you are. Um, the last thing I would, the other thing I want, I sort of noticed here, which I think it deserves mention, is the fact that we have been at occasions where people um, speak because they've been asked to speak and say nice words because they think they, they are expected to say nice words, but the extent to which they mean them might not be that easily discernible. But um, the kind of relationships that we think we perceived exist between the PTC staff here and the customers I think is a bit different and the touches on on sort of personal levels what Mr. K would say the way Mr. Masola is uh, being candid about their relationships here I think we have a very very solid um, foundation upon which to build um, a community where people can live together and share in the problems and try to find solutions to common problems. And I say this very, very sincerely, because I think you have a oneness which we have not been able to discern in all the other areas that we've been through. And I think we want to keep it up. I think lastly, let me just allow me to thank those of our team, because um, this whole thing was organized first and foremost from our head office together with the assistance of the region and I'll leave it to the region to thank their own staff but uh, in this instance we have um, people who were involved in the selection process they had to travel miles and miles coming all the way to Tenga going to all the exchanges that were selected from region to region I think this is um, the culmination of all their hard work and efforts so I'd like to say thank you very much for that Mr. Mapamba is here uh, Mr. Chueshe, who is the manager of the department, I think Ms. Maruf is here, the others, the union representatives may not be here, but um, I think we uh, appreciate the job that you, that you have done. Thank you very much for this, sir. Thank you again, sir, for saving my skin. <laughs> Uh, uh, because of uh, 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 the need to uh, avoid repetition, the RTM 
who is the regional telecoms manager may not again speak because he speak uh, he spoke rather previous <laughs> uh, on behalf of the higher office so uh, so now we have called upon mr bejan who comes from not a so low office and neither a so high office <laughs> sorry no 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 <laughs> just a joke to <laughs> To, to give us a vote of thanks on behalf of the RTM, who is now uh, enjoying his drink. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, Mr. Masola. All right, uh, I'm not going to rush to give the vote of thanks to all those who have made this occasion a success. I would like to summarize and signify the importance of this occasion. I will just enlighten you on certain areas that are way of uh, pivotal importance in making Rutenga the exchange of the year and also uh, to have the worker of the year winner. Right. Um, what we have realized is uh, the importance of customer care that has been of pivotal importance in this exchange area, particularly as I refer to Rutenga Exchange. Uh, we have strongly believed that uh, technology alone is not the solution. Human behavior is also very important. You should give the customer as much as possible what he, he or she asks for. Right. We are not selling. It's a marketing concept we are using. The customer wants a certain item, A. You have got to give A. You don't have to give B. So in Rutenga, <coughs> I'd like to praise Mr. Magada and also alongside him, the CDT, Mr. Masola, because they've been very close to their customers particularly outside Mr. Hawkins, Mrs. Hawkins here and Mr. Kewood. They've taken some time to understand what their customers want. They've worked very hard day and night to try to address the customer problems. And that has been very important in uh, us realizing such levels of customer satisfaction. We, as the uh, prior speakers have highlighted, we've got party lines EPLs. We know that it's a technological solution today. It might not give what the customer really wants, but uh, these, these guys have really tried to keep the customer a, a bit satisfied to some extent. I, I would also like to thank Mr. Masola by the supervision concepts he, he is practicing in, in, in his areas. Mr. Masola, considers himself not as a boss, but as a, as a co-worker with his uh, fellow subordinates. That is important, I would like to highlight, because if any customer in Rutenga phones, if any customer in Rutenga phones the exchange and the TTIC Mr. Magara is not there, Mr. Masola has got to drive all the way from Mashingo to clear that fault. He has done that on a number of occasions. And for that, I commend him. So you could see uh, Mr. Masola is like an army general who marshals his army in the forefront, not from the back front. <laughs> Okay, before I, I go on to give a vote of thanks, um, I would like to thank the farmers of Chiredzi, our very important customers. You'd also realize that uh, Rutenga Exchange, in terms of revenue earning, I think it should be number three or number four on the list in the whole region. As small as it is, it has got only an equipped capacity of about 200 lines. 
but uh, in terms of revenue earning is our number four roughly there so you find the importance the the criticality of this exchange area for the whole region now i'll go over to give a vote of thanks firstly i would like to give my warm thanks to our mp Ms. machawa Hoy. his presence here is strongly felt and would like to thank you for your presence mr machawa Hoy. i go on to thank our dpmg mr mazimbamuto I uh, would like to thank you very much. Ms. Mazimbamuto, I wouldn't say you are the only one, but you are the one of our uh, senior managers who have realized the pivotal importance of staff. You have realized that human resource is the most important asset in the organization. I would like to thank you for that. <laughs> then I would like to thank Mr. Ngele. I know all the duties are, are delegated to him by Mr. Mazimamoto, but uh, I mean, you are also in the forefront. Further on, I would like to thank Mr. Mr. Chiremba, our regional manager. Uh, we are under his guide. He is our light. For any successes or failures, I would like to say Mr. Chiremba is responsible. In this case, luckily, it's a success. <laughs> So, thank you very much, Mr. Emba. Right, Mr. Kewood, thank you very much. Mr. Magada, thank you a thousand times. Thank you very much. I hope we keep this cup, is it two cups? We we'll keep these two cups with us for, for five more years or so. And uh, I don't think there's any other exchange that can beat us as far as uh, customer care is concerned. Um, before I forget, there are very important people who played uh, who played critical roles as, as well in uh, making this function in, in itself a very big su success as it is. Uh, we've got the organizing committee that uh, were responsible for organizing uh, the, the, the catering service for the catering services, uh, all the arrangements pertaining to that. Uh, I would like to give you a vote of thanks on that one. There's also Mr. Mr. Mapamba, Mr. Marufu, and other guys from HQ. They were they were the light of all the I mean uh, committee members. I would like to thank you very much. Without you, it would have uh, been very difficult to get as far as we are today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pichana, sir. I find myself uh, having to contend with being the general who goes to the war front. I don't know if uh, if he wasn't infamous, uh, this uh, German general Rommel, the Desert Fox, I'd prefer to be called the Desert Fox. Unfortunately, he was very infamous. Thank you. <laughs> the, 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 the small occasion is, is arrived. You know, being a master of ceremony doesn't mean you, you are a master of everything. <laughs> I might find myself having to learn how to pop champagne. Open the bottle. I open the bottle, then. <laughs> then, ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'm going to try to pop this champagne uh, 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 for the successes of Mr. Magada and his team. Uh, minus me, of course. I mean. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I might have to call upon the uh, Rotenga Exchange team to come and enjoy the, 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 sh the champagne as well. Mr. Zangure, Mr. Makato, uh, uh, Mr. Mtunamu, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Mr. Kondok. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I, I come from the other side, so I forget his name. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 